Welcome to Celebrities as Heritage. Today, we're diving into the epic crime drama Blood and Blood Out, released in 1993. In this video, we'll not only explore the development of the characters on screen, but also delve into the lives and careers of the cast members from the time they appeared in the film to where they are now, who has passed on, who is still shining, and what their lives are like today. Now, let's get started. Number 15. Miklo Velka is portrayed by actor Damien Chapa, born on October 29, 1963, in Ohio. He was 30 years old when he took on this role. Miklo is a young man of mixed American and Mexican heritage who gets drawn into gang life in Los Angeles. His story revolves around an internal struggle between loyalty and self-identity. With a deep desire to find his place in a society where he feels out of place, Miklo faces numerous challenges related to friendship, honor, and survival. Besides this role, Damien Chapa is also known for his performances in Street Fighter and Mexican Gangster. Now, at 60, he continues his career in the entertainment industry as a director, producer, and actor. Number 14. Red Rider is portrayed by Tom Tolles, born on March 20, 1950, in Chicago. He was 43 years old when he took on this role. Red Rider is a violent and racist prison guard who often appears in scenes of conflict, particularly targeting the main character, Miklo. He serves as a symbol of discrimination and brutality in the film, using his authority and strength to intimidate those around him, which adds to the tense atmosphere throughout the story. Outside of this role, Tom Tolles is widely recognized for his portrayal of Otis in Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, earning him an Independent Spirit Award nomination. He also appeared in films like House of 1000 Corpses and The Devil's Rejects. Tom Tolles passed away in 2015 from a stroke at the age of 65. Number 13. Cruz Candelaria is portrayed by actor Jesse Borrego, born on August 1, 1962, in San Antonio, Texas. He was 31 years old when he took on the role. Cruz is a talented artist with a gift for painting, but his life gradually spirals due to struggles with addiction and violence. He shares a close bond with the two main characters, Miklo and Paco. However, differing life choices and circumstances lead to conflict and tragedy in their relationships. Cruz is a sensitive, passionate, yet complex character who faces many tough decisions throughout the film. In addition to this role, Jesse Borrego is known for his performances in films such as Con Air and La Mission. Now at 62, he continues his acting and directing career, participating in numerous film and television projects. Number 12. Popeye is portrayed by Carlos Carrasco, born on April 5, 1948, in Panama. He was 45 years old when he took on this role. Popeye is a key member of the La Onda gang in prison, often making critical decisions to support the main characters. He is cold, ruthless, yet fiercely loyal to his comrades, playing a significant role in the power struggles within the prison. Beyond this role, Carlos Carrasco is also known for his performances in films like Speed and his appearances in TV series such as Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. He has also been involved in Broadway productions and other notable television works. Now 76, Carrasco remains active in the entertainment industry, continuing his work as an actor and director while enjoying a fulfilling life dedicated to his craft.
Number 11. Paco Aguilar is portrayed by Benjamin Bratt, born on December 16, 1963, in California. He was 30 years old when he took on this role. Paco starts out as a gang member, but later becomes a Los Angeles Police Department officer. His complex relationship with the main characters, particularly Miklo, is central to the film's conflict as he struggles between loyalty to his past and his new responsibilities as a law enforcer. In addition to this role, Benjamin Bratt is well known for his work in films such as Miss Congeniality, Traffic, and Doctor Strange. He is also recognized for playing Detective Ray Curtis on the TV series Law and Order. Now 59 years old, Bratt continues to be active in the entertainment industry, taking on various film and television projects. Number 10. Magic Mike is portrayed by Victor Rivers, born on October 1, 1955, in Cuba. He was 38 years old when he took on the role. Magic Mike is a powerful member of the La Onda gang, known for his loyalty, bravery, and determination to protect his fellow members. He acts as an unofficial leader within the prison, playing a key role in the gang's strategic decisions, especially when facing external threats. His strong, composed, and rational demeanor helps him maintain his position in the harsh, conflict-driven world of prison gangs. Outside of this role, Victor Rivers is also recognized for his performances in films such as The Mask of Zorro and Hulk. Now 68, Rivers remains active as both an actor and an advocate, passionately involved in campaigns against domestic violence. Number 9. Bonafide is portrayed by Delroy Lindo, born on November 18, 1952, in England. He was 41 years old when he took on this role. Bonafide is the leader of the Black Guerrilla Army, a powerful prison gang that has tense relations with other groups, especially La Onda. He is depicted as a wise and strong leader who knows how to maintain his position in the violent, hierarchical world of prison gangs. Outside of this role, Delroy Lindo is widely known for his collaborations with director Spike Lee in films like Malcolm X and De Five Bloods. At 71, he remains active in major film and television projects, having earned numerous awards throughout his career. Lindo is highly respected in the film industry and continues to bring depth and nuance to his roles. Number 8. Chewie is portrayed by Raymond Cruz, born on July 9, 1961, in Los Angeles, California. He was 32 years old when he took on the role. Chewie is a prominent member of the Vados Locos gang, playing a supportive role in the gang's power struggle against rival groups. His character is marked by unwavering loyalty and a fierce fighting spirit, which underscores the harsh gang environment portrayed in the film. Outside of this role, Raymond Cruz is widely recognized for his portrayal of Tuco Salamanca, a brutal drug dealer in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. He is also well known for his long-running role as Detective Julio Sanchez in The Closer and Major Crimes. Now 63, Cruz continues his acting career and enjoys a happy life with his family. Number 7. Montana is portrayed by Enrique Castillo, born on December 10, 1949, in California. He was 44 years old when he took on the role. 
Montana is the notorious leader of the Law Onda gang in prison and shares a special relationship with the main character, Miklo. With his intelligence and leadership skills, Montana represents the power and cold demeanor of a gang leader, while also displaying deep loyalty and personal ideals about honor and authority in the criminal underworld. Beyond this role, Enrique Castillo is also well known for his portrayal of Caesar in the series Weeds and his roles in films like El Norte and Mars Attacks. At 74, he continues his acting career and remains involved in community-related artistic projects. Number 6. Carmen is portrayed by Lupe Antiveros, born on September 17, 1942, in Texas. She was 51 years old when she took on the role. Carmen is a strong and determined woman who fiercely protects her family and community. Throughout the story, she faces numerous challenges and confronts the violent world around her, symbolizing the strength of family bonds and the sacrifices made to protect loved ones. Her character reflects the resilience and perseverance of women in society. Beyond this role, Lupe Antiveros is widely recognized for her portrayal of Yolanda Saldivar in the film Selena and the strict mother in Real Women Have Curves. She also appeared in the TV series Desperate Housewives as Juanita Solis, earning an Emmy nomination for her performance. Sadly, she passed away in 2012 at the age of 69 due to liver cancer. Number 5. Lightning is portrayed by Billy Bob Thornton, born on August 4, 1955, in Arkansas. He was 38 years old when he took on this role. Lightning is a minor character who embodies the brutality of the criminal world depicted in blood and blood out. His ruthless and violent nature intensifies the tension and conflict between the rival factions in the prison. Despite not being a main character, Lightning leaves a lasting impression with his cold demeanor and brutal actions. In addition to this role, Billy Bob Thornton is widely known for his performance in Sling Blade, which earned him an Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay. Currently, at 69, he continues to pursue his acting career and is the lead vocalist of the band The Box Masters. Number 4. Frankie is portrayed by Valente Rodriguez, born on February 14, 1964, in Texas. He was 29 years old when he took on this role. Frankie is a young and impressionable member of the Law Onda gang, representing the new generation trying to prove themselves but getting caught in the cycle of violence and crime. His character reflects the disorientation and societal pressures many youths face in challenging environments. In addition to this role, Valente Rodriguez is widely recognized for his portrayal of Ernesto Ernie Cardenas in the series George Lopez, where he appeared in 120 episodes. Now 60, Rodriguez continues his acting career, participating in various film and television projects. Number 3 Big Al is portrayed by Lanny Flaherty, born on July 27, 1942, in Mississippi. He was 51 years old when he took on this role. Big Al is a corrupt prison guard, known for his brutality and greed. As a member of an Aryan gang, he has a complicated relationship with Miklo, one of the main characters. Big Al frequently clashes with other characters and ultimately meets his demise due to his disrespect and insults toward the Law Onda gang. His character contributes significantly to the tense and violent atmosphere within the prison. Beyond this role, Lanny Flaherty has appeared in other notable films like Natural Born Killers and Signs. Now 81, he enjoys a peaceful retirement with his family.
Number 2. Lupe is portrayed by Ginny Gago, born on September 11, 1953, in Peru. She was 40 years old when she took on this role. Lupe is a loving and supportive family member, especially to Paco and Miklo. She plays an essential role in providing emotional stability to the characters, representing deep familial bonds amidst the harsh societal backdrop. Lupe's character is depicted as warm, caring, and full of compassion. In addition to this role, Jenny Gago is also well known for her portrayal of Maria in My Family and other notable roles such as in Coach Carter. Now at 70, she continues her acting career and is recognized as one of the most influential Latina actresses in Hollywood. Number 1. Ivan is portrayed by Ving Rhames, born on May 12, 1959, in New York. He was 34 years old when he took on this role. Ivan is a ruthless and dangerous character who represents a rival prison gang with tense relationships with key characters like Miklo and Montana. His role intensifies the ethnic and power conflicts between the gangs, with Ivan often resorting to violence to achieve his goals, embodying cold determination and brutality. Aside from this role, Ving Rhames is widely recognized for playing Marcellus Wallace in Pulp Fiction and Luther Stickle in the Mission, Impossible series. Now 65, he continues his successful acting career and is considered one of Hollywood's most influential actors. Thank you for joining Celebrities as Heritage on this journey to explore the epic crime drama Blood and Blood Out. We hope this video brought back great memories of the film. If there's another movie you'd like to dive into with us, feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming exciting content. See you in the next video.